What is up guys and welcome back to another let's play of a skateboarding game. Today is not Skate 3, it is Tony Hawk's Proving Ground. My favorite Tony Hawk game of all time, at least that's how I remember it. So today I'm just checking out if it still holds up to that. I've been playing a few of the challenges I hadn't completed. I have completed the game entirely before, but I have been replaying it a a month or two ago and I didn't complete all challenges so the ones I've just been trying they were actually not that fun but I've been really intrigued by the world just skating around and just throwing people that's one of the really funny things about this game just you can get a lot of speed and then just send people flying I've had a lot of fun with that I actually don't know when it came out but I think it came out before the first EA skate game why the fuck you lying they have a feature in here where you can actually record and like edit videos to music and all that so I really found that funny at the time and I think we're going to going to test that out today. We're at Love Park right now as you might be able to tell it's kind of a alternative version of it but basically now I'm recording a clip you have to enter recording mode every single time you want to record and then you can click start and then you can play back the video or you can you can save it or discard it so this is kind of boring we're just going to discard it it's not very big compared to skate 3 skate 1 or skate 2 but i actually really like the world here it's basically philly baltimore and washington dc and then there are some few extra areas but this is love park and as you can see as i already mentioned it's kind of weird for example, we don't have the curved ledges around the fountain. Here you can just like go into it. Like it's only a very thin roll up here. But then of course we got the Love Park sign. It's the original Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. I mean, I like being able to skate around a famous spot. We also got this kind of, I don't know what it's called, but you got some rails here. But today we will be trying to record some realistic skateboarding clips because I just remembered yesterday that you can actually, if we just discard this clip, you can enter the options menu, control setup, and then you can actually make it more realistic. So we can take this, the speed on max right now. So we can take that down a notch. Camera mode, standard, dynamic. Let's just take dynamic, auto kick mode. Ah, we don't want that because then he just, he pushes like, automatically so you can actually push while doing an ollie and doing tricks but we are going to turn on sim mode which is like realistic mode or hardcore mode in skate 3 use at own risk may cause all goal to become real difficult yes if you see now he can't ollie as high he's going a lot slower maybe we shouldn't have picked that slow even though i'm pushing i can't really gain any speed Alright, so we can't do inward heels anymore. Or can we? No. What about hard flip? Can we still hard flip? It still auto pushes, doesn't it? Alright. You can hard flip. And then we can, of course, enter Nolly and Fake by hitting the left stick. So, we can do a bunch of stuff. But can we tray flip? No. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, we can! But the animation kind of stopped before it. That looked really unrealistic. That's really hard. What about 360 hard flip? Whoa! It's like the animation doesn't even go halfway, but we still landed. What about 360 inward heel? We can do that, of course, when it's into a bank. Alright, wait a minute. Now it's sim mode, so it's supposed to be realistic. But can you still just go up this? Yeah, you can. Uh, Alright, so just to demonstrate what you can do when you have recorded the clip, you can basically, you can change the camera to a couple different things. I have a video here called Camera Examples, so I just made that before we start filming. I wanted to do a remake of Bam Margera's Kickflip at FDR. So just to demonstrate the camera angles, we have, this is like user, here we have lock to board, lock to skater, and you can see the lock to skater has problems with the bank. This is lock to skater right, and this must be lock to skater left. So that looks kind of weird. But then we have uh, the user track, we have user follow, and user static. 
So the static track and follow, you can actually position the camera like you want. As you can see, this is the video editor. I thought and I still think that is actually super cool and you can have a lot of fun with it. And then we have all these options. We can remove the clip, trim it, move, camera. Let's take camera and then we have all of these to choose from. So let's try the user and then you can actually you're just following as the line is going on, so you can do that in real real life speed, is it called that? Or the slow motion, I usually pick this one. And then as in skate 3 and 2, you can kind of control the fisheye here. Let's just go, ah, maybe not that much. And then we can tilt it, or rotate it actually. Try to start filming, then you can see it's in slow motion, but I can actually move around and I don't really know how that looks. Let's go up a little bit. Tray flip. We can't really see the landing. And a kick flip up here. And then we can play it back and see how that looked. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't really look as good as you can make things look in Skate 3, but I was still, I was very amazed by this. I mean, you can still have a lot of fun with it. I know that it might be because I'm a big fan of just skateboarding games in general and I've played a lot of Tony Hawk games in the past, but if you've only been familiar with EA Skate 1, 2 and 3, then this is probably not a game for you. But I really want to get some realistic clips today and now that we have sim mode... Hey, wait a minute, he just pushed. Didn't I turn off the automatic push? feel like it did. Well, let's just turn that off. Save game, maybe. Okay, so you can kickflip up a 3-star. I also really like the bail system in this game. It's actually super funny. Oh, this kind of thug dude, he want to mess me up. Oh, and he did. I think we should get some clips down the love park. Fountain gap. I don't think we can get enough speed like this. Man, that looks kind of stupid because he's pushing like... As he's popping, he's popping. Laser flip to the street. Come like this, and then, yeah. You know what? We'll we'll cheat because this game actually has a like world editor here, as you can see. So it's not like the the objects dropping like in Skate 3, but you can actually mod the world and stuff, so I thought that was really cool as well. I, I really think this game kind of nailed a lot of things, of course. There's a lot of stuff that just feels very weird, but I was pretty amazed at the time and I still have a lot of fun playing it now. So this is a boost rail, so as you're grinding that you should gain a lot of speed. We have this hammer here where you can actually mod certain parts of the world, so we can mod this tile right here and make a traditional Philly tile kicker and that is just super awesome. We gotta get some clips with that as well. I mean the love part could have been a bit bigger but that's that's fine. Also you don't have session markers in this game so that is a bit annoying. But let's just start out with a big flip. Let's try that. So we can hit the rail and then yeah. Oh. Yeah we kinda feel that. And we can also get off our board. Oh wait a minute. Whoa, that was like a realistic grind, just landing on the rail. That was Skate 3 or Skate 1, Skate 2 kind of style. Yeah, it doesn't look as realistic as Skate 3, 1 or 2. I don't know what to say, it's, it's still a lot of fun, but of course there is a problem. I think, you know, when you hit the A button, you of course you gain a little bit of speed. That's kind of like the Tony Hawk principle. But he doesn't really crouch down. Look, now I'm not doing anything. He's just rolling. But then I hit A, gain a little speed, but he doesn't really crouch down. I believe in the earlier games, once you hit A or the crouch button, he would actually crouch down. But here you can see he's just gaining speed. He's not really crouching down. And then when he does a trick, he's pretty stiff leg. Right, so let's just try to get a big heel flip. I mean, that looked kind of weird. Let's just play that back. Mm, I gotta actually rotate right away. And don't worry guys, I will cut out all of the me moving back to the kicker. I really wish there was session marks in this game. And we did a board stall and... <laughs> what? Alright, let's try again. Land on the rail. Yeah, I wasn't ready to land so I just did a back lane. I think we're going for a frontside shove it. 
believe that I should wear it that. So that is double tap down. That was a varial flip. We're not keeping a varial flip when we have just gotten a big flip. There we go. Frontside shove it for my boy. I should wear. I'll never speak like that again. I'm sorry. I don't really. Hey, wait a minute. Did it just push again? I'm sure I turned off auto kick. But it's on. What? Save the game. I don't want auto kick on. Or auto push. Whatever you want to call it. It's raining, people. Hallelujah. Damn. That was the really fun part about this game, just making people fly. Oh my god. Oh my god, come on. Maybe we should get a Manny to Manny or something combo on the blocks here. It's kind of hard to pop on flat, but when you're going out of grinds and manuals, I still think he's popping like insanely high. So, oh my god, he's still auto pushing. <sighs> But in this game, you can do those kind of reverts. So maybe a heel flip to nose manual, up to nose manual, revert, down here to man. Heel flip to a manual this time. Sometimes it's kind of random of what I'm doing. Yeah, landed. Uh, don't. Ah, oh, then he takes his foot off. All right. So a heel flip up to a nose manual. Up again, and then revert. I mean, that was really sick, and you can't do impossibles in Skate 3, so I think we're going with that clip. Now, what else? I think I want to get something on either over, not this rail, but the other way here. Do something over the rail. But let's get the Nolly Tray Flip over. Boom! Just barely made it over the rails. So that's realistic, I guess. <laughs> Should we get more at? Yeah, let's get something on the rail. Maybe a feeble coming up the other way. So going down that three stair and then doing a feeble from the bank up. Let's try that. And kick the out? I don't know. Did he kind of glitch out there? Let's just get one more to be sure, because I don't really know what happened there. No. Oh, I accidentally pushed. Feeble kickflip. Yeah, let's, let's just go with that one. All right, so I've gotten, oh my God, the auto kick is still on. What? So we've gotten a few simulator clips but I also just want to just fool around a little bit. So now we are on, you know, the normal, normal mode. Over here we have a hotel where these doors kind of lead you to the top here. So I just did a frontside 1080 off of a building. That's a fun thing you can do in this game, but I think I like doing this and then just slamming. Oh! And over here is a security guard who's taken one of our fellow skaters skateboard. Let's just knock him out the park. He's still here. And now there are good buddies just hogging it out on the floor. It's great to see. I've always just naturally been playing this game realistically. Even though I know there's a lot of non-skaters playing this and probably thinking that this is a kind of boring way to play it, but I mean, this is kind of what I want to have in a skateboarding game. So when the first skate game came around, I was just, I was amazed. I can't even describe the feeling of me playing the first skate game. But I do still think that this game is actually a lot of fun, but I don't recommend it if you've only been playing the EA skate games. But it is a lot of fun, I think. Oh my god. But I'll just go through getting the angles for a few of these clips. Either use a track or use a static. So static is just the camera not even moving at all. This is how it looks. And it was just way too fast. So what I like to do is just decrease the speed a tiny bit. 
think it makes it look a bit more realistic, but it's still kind of hard to see what is going on. Maybe we'll change the camera to use the track instead. Let's just check it. Yeah, that was much better. Big flip down, the love park. And then let's just get a static angle for this front side pop shove it. I probably shouldn't have set it right there. Alright, so this is as far away we can go and then we can zoom in. And we can place it right here. How will that look? It's very far away. Yeah, I mean, that, that's okay. That looks kind of cool. In general, I think the world is looking really good, actually. I think the graphics were far ahead for its time. And while Project 8 kind of disappointed me, this game actually was a lot of fun. And now it kind of looks like it's clipping the wheels, but this might be the best we'll get. I can seriously spend so much time filming a clip like this because I want it to look kind of realistic. I want everything in there, but it's just so annoying that I can place the camera like this and then after a while it'll just automatically go up again. See right there because I moved the camera around, but I just, I need to do that. So this time I'll do it right here. I'll go down now. I just think, I think that will look choppy, but we're just gonna go with this and then I'll film all the other clips. I'll even get some more tricks and then show you guys a montage right here. <laughs>
Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video and aren't hating too much on the Tony Hawk game because I really enjoy this game actually. I know the most popular skateboarding game to kind of do a let's play on is Skate 3, but I like to shake things up a bit sometimes and it's really energizing to play something new that you can also enjoy. So I hope you guys enjoyed those clips from Love Park, Inner Philly and FDR, which is a really iconic, like, I don't even know, bold tranny spot. Thank you guys so much for watching and then let me know down there what you want me to do down the Love Park gap. If you want me to skate it again or what else I should do in this game. Maybe next time we'll return to Skate 3, but thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.